Hello to all of the Aries out there. Hello to all of the lovely Aries out there. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I'm going to be doing a reading for you on today. For the week of March the 22nd. Through March the 28th. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate with your son, your son sign, it may resonate if you have Aries and your moon, Venus, or rising. Again, this reading will not resonate with every Aries out there. However, again, if you have Aries and your Moon, Venus, or Rising, this reading may be for you. I hope everyone is staying indoors at this time to be on the safe side of things. And I am going to begin. What is the past energy for the sign of Aries? Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Fool. Spirit, what's the present? The present. Energy for Aries, Ten of Cups, Chariot. Queen of Swords. I have to move these cards up. One more time. So that all of the cards can be seen. Okay. And what is the future energy? For the sign of Aries, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, I'm sorry. Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. <clears throat> Those cards came out in a reverse. I mean, not in a reverse, but they were like in a deck facing backwards. Too many cards. What is the future energy for the sign of Aries? Thank you. The Two of Pentacles and 
We had the th three of swords at the bottom of the deck. The three of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, Aries, your past energy is the Six of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Fool. So, you could be dealing with, or you could have previously been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or an Aries, or an Aquarius. But the Six of Cups represents you may have been looking for some type of balance um stability or you could have had some balance or stability in the situation you could have um two children a boy and a girl to be specific but this could have been um a stable situation in love And maybe you were wanting an a wanting a stable relationship or some type of balance in a love situation. Because the the high priestess came out and that represents um, intuition, illumination, um, I look at this card as going with the flow, because she's flowing, and then you have the fool card. So you could have been thinking about um, how are you want to move forward in a situation with this fool card. And you could have been using your intuition to get clarity on um, which way to go. Because the fool represents unexpectancy, juggling multiple things at one time, and setting out on a journey without any direction. Both the high priestess card and the fool card, they both have on masks. But they're both looking up or their faces facing towards the sky. So they could have been going inward for um, clarity. I'm going to pull some clarifiers for those cards spirit wise the six of cups there for the sign of Aries why is the six of cups there okay there we have the king of pentacles 
So again, the Six of Cups um, stability is clarified with the King of Pentacles. So you could have been working towards the stability and um, you work hard towards it and it came in. And then you have the Three of Cups that came out. So, maybe there was some, um, you could have been partying, celebrating. Maybe you were waiting for <clears throat> working with this Six of Cups and this King of Pentacles. You could have been working towards. Um, stability in a love situation after a third party situation or you could have been working hard towards stability and once the stability came in there was a celebration. <clears throat> okay, so let's find out why this food card is here. So, why is the food card here for the sign of Aries? Okay. And we have the star card. So... You could have been um, celebrating after you healed a situation. Okay. Okay. So this is what I this is what I'm getting. There was a situation that needed stability, and stability came in. You. It came in because you used your intuition and you worked hard to gain this stability and it resulted resulted in a celebration. And with this celebration, it allowed you to move forward in your situation with the full card and um, with the star card, you healed. In the process, and now your present energy is the Ten of Cups. So you have um, a happy home. Your family is good. Give giving and taking reciprocity. After you moved on from this past pain. You're moving forward with the chariot. And now you could be with the Queen of Swords, you could you could be um in a tip in a position to where though you're not going to take any anybody's stuff and if any you're not going to take any crap from anyone so if anything comes towards you that's going to interrupt your ten of cups this bliss that you're in you're going to chop it off you're going to cut it away from your life So let's get some clarifiers. This ten of, ten of Cups. Clarify with the Emperor. Spirit wise, that chariot card there. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands that came out with the Knight of Cups. And we have a King, a Knight. Okay, a night. Okay. 
we have okay so the ten of cups so your 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 nail right now in this present energy you have the ten of cups and it came out with the emperor so you could be i have um aries energy this is your energy <laughs> Because you're here, actually, you're here twice with the fool and the emperor. But you are, um, or this could be your person. But this could be um, a father. It's a lot of male energy here with the king of pentacles. Um... The Fool, we have the Knight of Cups, we have the Emperor, there's a male on the Six of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. It's a lot of masculine energy here, but um, so you could be Nurturing a home, a parental figure, and just basically taking care of things to um to keep this Ten of Cups going, that Ten of Cups feeling, the bliss of being in love. You could be moving forward towards, or someone could be trying to um, give you a passionate encounter, or you could be moving towards a passionate encounter. And then, um, I say that because you have the Knight of Cups that came out, and he's facing this queen, so he could be coming towards you or you could be going towards them to give a message of passion in the future you have the seven of pentacles more stable energy here more work being done to maintain stability balance with the six of wands so there's balance here as well and then you have the two of pentacles which represent more stability in your um situation so let's get some clarifiers that's too many cards so spirit wise there's seven of pentacles here with a sign of aries uh, thank you. We have the full card. And so now you have the full card here twice. You have the full card in your past energy and in a future energy. So again, you're um, working hard for the stability in your love situation. And you're, um, you're, you're going to be venturing off on a new journey in love. Not with a new person. I don't think it's with a new person because I don't see that here. But you're moving forward in your love situation for a higher level of stability and commitment. So, Spirit, why is there Six of Wands there for the sign of Aries? Why is there Six of Wands there for the sign of Aries? Okay, and the Six of Wands is clarified with the Knight of Wands. So someone is coming in with um, taking action. So in this movement, on this new journey, it's quick movement, action taking place.
for their stability. So, and then we have the Seven of Cups. So the Two of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups um, could have choices to make. And maybe that's why the Two of Pentacles is there. You may have two, two, um, well, there could be more than one thing to choose from, but he's only paying his focusing on this one. So, you or this other person is focusing on I want to say, um, focusing on your relationship because he's not even paying his other pinnacle any mind. Let me find out why is this, um, uh, thank you. Came right out. Strength card. So he's going to need strength in this decision that needs to be made. Why is the strength card there? And I do see the um three of cups three of swords at the bottom of the deck so there could be or could have been a third party situation in the past and that is why this um in the past you were thinking about this um this stability and working hard towards this stability but your current energy is um you're stable in your love situation so, why is this strength card here? So, whatever is um, taking place in the future with this decision, it's, it's, it's with the infinity card over this woman, it's going to be um, permanent. Why is this strength card here? That's too many cards. I seen a justice card wanted to come out, but it didn't. Let's see if it comes out. Okay. We have the Ten of Cups. So you have the Ten of Cups here twice. So you're working hard. The decision is made and is going to result in the Ten of Cups. You have the Ten of Cups here twice. You have the Fool card here twice. So Aries, looks like your situation is going to be... Fulfillment. I'm going to pull um, a love oracle card for you at this time. Oh. <laughs> oh, Spirit, can I have one love oracle card for the sign of Aries? Oh. One love oracle card for the sign of Aries. Okay, we have the golden mirror that slid out, if you can see that, and it says self-absorbed, narcissist, one-side relationship, love bombing. Hmm, okay, maybe that was past energy. Let's pull another one. Spirit, why is that love bombing golden mirror card there? Why is the love gold? Love, I'm sorry, golden mirror card there. What is that? Okay, seen the card flip. Okay, so someone could have been running in the past, and maybe that's why they had a, de a decision to make because they could have been running from one person to another or just running away from the situation, could have been afraid of love. 
but it says the runner is cold is a codependent relationship fear of intimacy listening to ego spirit why is the runner there why do we have this runner card okay Yeah, someone had a decision to make in love in, in the past. And, um, because we have the snake. So there was a situation. There was more than, um, one person in this relationship in the past. But you and your person work hard and y'all wanted stability. So you use your intuition to, um, figure out or to get clarity you healed from the um, past pain and now you have the ten of cups you're moving forward in love you're setting out on a new journey um, take action is being taken you were strong you you are you were strong you are strong you're still working hard towards the situation and moving forward in this love situation and you and it's going to result in in a ten of cups so aries that is your reading for the week of um march the 22nd through march the 28th thank you for watching i'll see you next time oh sending lots of love and light um, if this video resonated with your situation, hit the subscribe button and then a notification bell to be notified of future videos. Again, I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.